I know when people are disguising booze. He really took exception to it. Yes, he did. What's your question? My question is, <laughs> what would you say to him now? Well done. You know, he's been battling this for his whole career. And yes, he feeds off negative energy. And yes, I did feed off that at times, but I hated it in a way. Do you want people yelling against you, you know, hoping you'll lose? And just because you're so good, they start pulling for the other guy for no reason other than you're so good. That's the reason that people uh, go against him, in my opinion. He's like the Darth Vader compared. Well, there's look, there's two of the greatest class acts we've ever seen play tennis, Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer. Who can compare to them in terms of, you know, what they brought to the table and, and the way people love them? Nobody. And then this guy Djokovic has the nerve to come in and, you know, break into the party. And then win and, more Grand Slams than them. And yeah. Exactly. And so then, you know, it's like, how about respecting me after all this? Here's a guy that, listen, think about this. He had a, a surgery a month ago. The odds are, I would have said 10%, 20%, he would have even played this tournament. How, you know, he's thinking, you know, I'm helping this tournament, which he is. Why don't I get some love when I'm playing a guy who's 15 in the world who hasn't done a damn thing compared to him? And so, yes, there were maybe a handful of Danish people going Runa, and I get that people want to see a good match. We all want to see a good match. But you have to respect the greatness that you see. And it did... It, listen, it's easy to be the backseat driver now and, you know, let it go, and, you know, they weren't doing that. But this is what he's been dealing with for 10, 15, 20 years that people have been doing this. So I admire the guts that he had to say it there. Uh, that, that takes something, because that's, in a way, going to put more people against him. And um, he doesn't deserve that at this stage. We need him, and he's been too, too great for our game, in I my did, opinion. I did wonder as well if actually having Stefan and Tara, his kids up there, and Yelena up there, that it hurts him more when they see what sounds like a crowd turning against their dad, that actually it's not just... ...that at this stage. We need him, and he's been too, too great for our game, in I my did, opinion. I did wonder as well if actually having Stefan and Tara, his kids up there, and Yelena up there, that it hurts him more when they see what sounds like a crowd turning against their dad, that actually it's not just him who's offended in this, he's trying to protect them as well as his own... Well, I'm not sure they're completely aware of this, this whole thing that's been going on for, you know, as, as long as he's been playing. Um, but I think it's time that we, you know, put aside sort of the times where maybe he does look... Look, who am I to say, you know, oh, my God, you should, shouldn't have done this. I mean, it, hindsight is twenty twenty. It's easy to sort of say, well, maybe you should have just let it go. But I think he, the fact that he was able to go up there and have his say, and he's, he, you know, he's a really smart guy. Uh, and he, he understands what he's in for, probably, uh, having to deal with, you know, what the ramifications of that. Oh, you know, he sounds like he's you know, whining about something, and um, he's gone too far. Um, how about they've gone too far the other way? I mean, is it possible to, you know, think maybe uh, that the fans in there have, dis have disrespected him? I mean, don't you think there's been at least 100 matches over the course of the last 10 or 15 years where Novak Djokovic has been disrespected? because of how good he is. What? What has he done that's been that bad? Name something. I, I, I don't... I, what is it? That he's, you know, wants it? Uh, that he competes as hard as anyone that's ever competed on a tennis court? I just don't get, like, why the... Some have... What is he... he but, the look or where he's from? Um, you know, there's... I, I, don't, I don't know I what do, it I is. don't think it's any of that. I what genuinely think, particularly here, I think it's people root for an underdog. And I think they always have done. And they love it in matches if it looks like it might be competitive and the guy that seemingly had no chance on paper is starting to play well. And I do think that's what happened. I mean, he wasn't playing well, actually.